Hello, my name is Margaret Purnell. I'm here for the Senior Spotlight with BTN, and I have Dottie McDaniel here with me today. So Dottie, I just want to ask you a few questions as you're ending your time at BHS, um, thinking back through the years. So first thing, what would you say is one of your favorite memories at BHS? I would say winning my first state championship my junior year for literary. Um, that was just such an incredible feeling and uh, you know, doing it again my senior year was, was really fun too, but that initial win, you just can't beat it. And I was there for that. <laughs> and I will say that was probably one of my most special memories too. So I was, I'm very grateful to have been there and experienced that. And we have been through a lot before that, so that made it even better. So, um, all right, what about, let's see, a funny memory at VHS? So I, I want to say it was auditions for um, my junior year for One Act Play. Okay. And I was walking down the hall with a couple of my friends at the time, and um, Mr. Bobby George jumped out and was like, what are you doing? And one of my friends literally screamed, rolled on the ground like a beetle, and then went in the fetal position. And, um, you know, I just will never forget that because then Mr. George was like, where are I going? <laughs> Not yeah. the Bobby George jump scare. Yeah. I think we <laughs> Those all are always the best, had, though. We all have had <laughs> through the walls, down the hallway. Yes. <laughs> He's got this. That's a great one. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, Dottie, let's see. What is something um, challenging that you've gone through at BHS or overcome or a lesson learned? I would say um, just a lot of. of going from you know childhood into adulthood throughout high school um and i would say a big thing for me was the challenge of coming out of the covid 19 pan pandemic mm -hmm. um my freshman year because you know that was when things were still a little crazy so mm -hmm. it it was really just a lot of coming out of my comfort zone and finding myself in in the time yeah, and that was such a strange time. Yeah, I even remember um, doing that first play your freshman year. We had to do mask yeah. and mask at rehearsals, and that was so strange. So um, it seems like it's been a long time, but at the same time, I can't believe that you're a senior now. <laughs> so that was that was a very strange time to come into high school for sure. Um, okay, let's see. What about? Uh, all right, speaking of teachers a minute ago, what's a favorite catchphrase that a teacher says here at VHS that you love? Well, I would say I'm going to go back to Bobby George. <laughs> he always says, think right, do right. And I agree with that. And then I'll also add another quote. It's from Miss Brunell, which is trust the work. So that just means in everything that you do, um, in everything that we do, we prepare a lot. So you just, you trust the work that you've done. You don't change anything the day of. You just do what you know how to do and um, trust the process and every, all the work that you put into it. That's right. Pretty good. I love those. Okay, um, let's see. All right, Dottie, what is, what are your plans after graduation? So like this summer, this coming fall, what are you doing? So I will be attending UGA um, and I'm doing, they have a summer program that starts in July, so I'll do that, and I'll be up in Athens from beginning of July to beginning of August, and then I'll start their fall semester. Um, right now, I want to go into their entertainment and media studies program, and also dual major in theater. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm really excited about that. There's a lot of you know things up in the air with that as far as career and getting into that program, but I'm really interested to see what's going to happen. Yeah, nice. So now with you adding this dual theater major is kind of recent, right. isn't it? So now I get to tell you, you also can take me on the red carpet yes. one day. For sure. <laughs> okay. No telling, maybe screenwriting, maybe acting, all kind of possibilities. So what would be your ultimate goal in the entertainment world? Um, you know, there's just so much to do. I wouldn't say like 
my biggest goal in life would to be would be to be an actor or something like that. But I mean, if it worked out, it worked out. But mm -hmm. um, you know, I like writing a lot. I like creating. So I would say just anything in production, directing, that sort of thing. Um, that would be what I would be most looking forward to. And I do think you have a natural talent for that. Um, I know at One Act the past couple years, um, I've given you the Assistant Director Award and that is very well deserved. So you're very natural at directing and organizing and it takes a very special skill set. So I really could see you doing well and going far in that field, whatever area you choose, but it's wide open. The possibilities are wide open. So that's exciting to see. Um, okay, what about, do you have any teachers you would like to give a shout out to or any other um, teachers who have special memories with you as you're getting ready to say goodbye? You know, of course, Miss Miss Brunell. I would also say Miss Howard in the front office. Um, I worked with her my sophomore year and then gotten to work with her again my senior year and I think she's just so underrated. People don't know all the work that she puts in. Um, all my English teachers, Ms. Wyndham, Ms. Campbell, uh, I feel like a lot of times English teachers, they stick with you in a different way, uh, or at least for me they do. Um, so I just but I just think everybody that I've had at VHS, it's been really good, like I have no complaints. Oh, well, I'm glad and we're, we're all going to miss you so much. Um, all right, let's see one more. Okay, what would you say is a goal maybe that you ha had in high school here and felt like you accomplished while you were here? So I would say, and I can honestly rewind it back to my freshman year, and I know like you remember this, and I will always remember this. The summer before school started, which you know we were in COVID and stuff, but I messaged you and I said, hey, I really am interested in doing stage crew for one act play, but I'm not sure that I'll have the time for it. And then, you know, here we are four years later, two state championships, um, multiple like awards and stuff like that for acting. So I would say um, just going from that initial thought of, oh, I just want to help out to finding my true passion in theater has been something that's just so incredible and like I wouldn't trade anything for it. Well I remember I wouldn't trade that either. I remember um, getting that message and it was in Remind 101 yes. and I remember you messaging me and saying that you just wanted to do stage crew and just kind of get your feet wet and then um, going into theater class first block that fall within a day I saw your talent and was like, there's no way Dottie is, is just going to be stage crew. So I'm so glad you took the, took the leap into acting and put forth your best self in every single thing we've done throughout high school. And um, I also remember this past fall at the Georgia Theater Conference, you winning the Best Supporting Actress um, for the statewide competition there over thousands of kids from huge schools and that was a huge huge accomplishment so going from saying stage crew only to winning that state championships I'm so proud of you Dottie and I cannot imagine these past four years without you can't they can't believe they've gone by so quickly I'm gonna get teared up <laughs> so <laughs> we might should wrap it up before I start Same. getting teared up but Anyway, so glad to talk to you today and have this time, all these memories together and can't wait to see what you're going to do in the future. And this is Margaret Purnell and Dottie McDaniel signing off for the Senior Spotlight for VTN.